hope we get on this time. Sir, can you... Yes. Sir, I hope you can hear me now. I can hear you now. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. You don't look Honorable Speaker, good. Public health and social, <laughs> public health and social measures uh, are critical to limiting transmission of COVID-19, Honorable Speaker. And this is important, uh, and that's why this bill that's before the House, which is under Order 51, uh, and the motion is to be able to have this bill uh, pass through Parliament uh, efficiently and quickly so that we can move on with the measures that are important in taking Fiji forward in this COVID-19 outbreak that we are having. Honorable Speaker, it gives empowerment uh, to uh, those who are uh, able to facilitate uh, the measures that are in place. It gives guidance to our communities and to the public on uh, what we need to do so that we can move towards uh, together in the new normal. Honorable Speaker, there's been extensive consultations done around these measures ever since last year. When COVID-19 came, there were extensive discussions that happened at ministry level, with Ministry of Health, and other government agencies, government ministries, including businesses, and uh, with Ministry of Trade in terms of businesses in the new normal. Because of uh, the differences in terms of our COVID status last year, um, those measures were written, they were discussed, uh, they were consulted, but as we have come into a different measure of the, uh, the transmission within our community now, those measures now have to be used. They have to be able to be uh, facilitated so that we can be able to control the virus, the transmission of the virus, but also move ahead in the new normal. We have to accept that we have to move in the new normal. We cannot have lockdowns as just the essential measure alone. We have to also ensure that COVID safe measures become part and parcel of our growth. And that's why this bill before the House is very important. It is very important in terms of also moving us ahead together as a nation. And I sincerely and uh, absolutely support the motion that is before the House brought up by the Honorable Attorney General. And I ask all parliamentarians to support this important measure because this is the way we can be able to move forward in the new normal. We can be able to support our communities. And it's not only helpful for COVID-19. It's also helpful for reducing uh, other respiratory tract infections that can be uh, um, transmitted from person to person. I thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I support the motion before the House. Now. Honorable Minister.